All right, guys. So the first thing is the brush, and I'm using Paint Brush Two. The only setting that you have to do is decrease the opacity with light pressure to at least 80% because we want the ends of the every eyelash hair strand to be lighter and not, you know, pigmented, if that makes any sense. So as you guys can see here, I have this little guide thing going on for the eye. I am actually going to show you guys how and where you should direct each and every eyelash hair, tra hair strand towards. So all these arrows represent where you should actually direct the end of each and every hair strand for the eyelashes. Uh, if that makes any sense, I'm gonna try my best to explain you guys. So these, uh, the starting point of the arrow is going to be the starting point of the eyelash, which is right underneath the upper lash line. That's how they look like a part of the whole eye. And this is going to be the shape of the eyelash hair strand. It's like a curve at the bottom and then we move it upwards, okay? Same with the lower lashes. It's gonna be curved at the top and then it's gonna be straight at the bottom. So that's like the basics of creating eyelashes and uh, just remember the arrows. If you are doing this for the first time, what you wanna do is you wanna just create this guide with all these arrows in a layer, in a separate layer, and then just decrease the opacity, and then just create a new layer above it and just start drawing your eyelashes. So keeping in mind the arrows in the shape for the eyelash hair strand, I'm drawing the eyelashes really close to each other. It depends on your reference as well. And as you guys can see, the curve, uh, the where the curve is um, directed is different. On the left, it's the curve is facing towards the right and the eyelash hair strands on the right hand side the curve is directed towards the left hand side and as you guys can see what i do basically is i create first layer of eyelashes which is quite lighter and i just put light pressure onto the screen then i just move ahead and i create another layer of um, eyelashes which is like adding more hair strands just to make it look more a uh, deep depth just to add more depth to it and just to make it look darker if that makes any sense and same goes with the low lashes as well just keep in mind just if you don't know just just practice drawing these uh, hair strands separately if you're not feeling confident yet and here we have nice looking eyelash created on Autodesk Sketchbook. Now we are moving on to the side view for the eyelash. Here also we are going to work with some arrows. So I'm just going to draw these arrows just to represent where the, each and every eyelash hair strand is going to look towards or directed towards. So obviously uh, for the side view, some eyelashes are going to be directed towards the upward side and some are going to be directed towards the lower lash lash line itself as you guys can see just for the upper lash line only though and here shape of the each and every um, eyelash hair strand is going to be just a simple curve rather than having an extreme curve right at the bottom as we did with the previous eyelash. I hope this is making sense, but as you guys can see, these eyelash hair strands are just curved. They do not have any extreme curve at the bottom because we are drawing eyelashes for the side view. And that's how you draw those. And again, I just draw first layer of the eyelashes, uh, putting light pressure, and then I add more eyelash hair over it just to add more depth to the eyelash and similarly i'm gonna go ahead as you guys can see though that at the top the eyelashes are the longest like an inverted v similarly i am drawing the lower lashes as well and again the lower lashes also they are not gonna have the extreme curve at the top they're just gonna be like a simple curve themselves so that's how we draw our lashes for the side view and i'm not adding a lot of bottom eyelashes because i do not really like to do that when i'm drawing side view and yeah so that's how you draw eyelashes for the side view and here just to show you guys how you can actually experiment with you, with the eyelash drawing, you don't have to have a simple looking eyelash. So here I drew this 
different kind of eyelash here what I focused on is to you know create chunks of eyelashes if that makes any sense so here I have like six chunks and all those six chunks I have a bunch of eyelash hair strands if that makes any sense so this technique will give me more of that um, false eyelash kind of look so if you want to kind of in any of your drawing you want to add these kind of eyelashes you can do this technique so basically once you really learn how to draw eyelashes how to draw eyelash hair strands you're just gonna get really good with it and you're gonna want to kind of experiment with it a lot so you can just experiment with the eyelash that you're drawing and you can actually uh, draw really creative eyelashes as well so this was just to show you that you can actually play around play around with the type of eyelash that you're drawing if you're not really sure what you can do is you can always go on pinterest pinterest like is filled with eyelash inspiration and you can just download a bunch of images from there and then you can just start practicing using those as reference so i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video this tutorial this mini tutorial i have plenty of vid uh, videos on eyelashes but i never did I never actually did a, a dedicated video on Autodesk Sketchbook for eyelashes. So that's what I wanted to do. I'm like obsessed with drawing these eyelashes. And I also might come up with some brush set for Autodesk Sketchbook. I'm still figuring stuff out as to how to actually import those on Autodesk Sketchbook. If not, then I might come up with some eyelash um, PNGs that you can use on your drawing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, Give this video a big, big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video.